last interesting hand of this hour, this past hour or so, came when I called a raise with nine eight of diamonds, and uh, we go multi way to what looks like a pretty good flop to me. It comes nine high, and we flop ourselves an open ender. Andrew calls. We're going multi way here. Eli straddled the button to fifty, and he's going to complete. So five ways to the flop. He seems all business, huh? Maybe you cocktails to the booth. Six, seven, nine. So a, an open ender with a top pair for Andrew. We got a gutter and backdoor flush draw for both Chris and Abe. And top pair and a gutter for Eli. So a lot of things brewing here. And Andrew's going to put in the bet. I would expect this to go four ways to the turn. Unless Eli puts in a raise. Which he does. And yeah, with as deep as Abe is, I expect him to call here. Weird spot now for Andrew. I mean, he can't fold, but it's just weird to proceed from here yeah. to the turn. You know, like the size of this pot now is just huge. The size of the pot is essentially what Andrew has left in his stack. Uh, turns a deuce that changes nothing. This is going to be interesting here. Like Andrew bet and then called a raise, so Eli's thinking, what does Andrew have? But he still wants to bet his top pair. Wow. You know, I don't know how well Andrew knows Eli. I don't know how much he watches Live with Bike. I don't know, you know, how what he thinks of Eli, right? So, you know, if you play with Eli every week, you might know what this line means. But when you've never played with the guy before, how does Andrew interpret this? Oh. Well, wow. Abe calls. And now, it's just weird for Andrew. If he calls here... Right, like there's 6,500 in the pot. I know he's 1,900 back. Um, does he shove here? I mean, does he fold? I mean, there's no great option. We check into the razor. He puts out a bet of $1,200 here on the turn. Abe thinks for a little bit and makes the call. So now it's a really interesting slash tricky type spot because if the razor the better happened to flop the nuts here, which is drawing to a drawing to a chop. If he happened to flop a set, then we are still live with our open ender. The problem is with Abe in there drawing as well, which I would certainly imagine he is. Then we can only chop. Abe and I can two pair and uh, trips outs are going to be no good. So I think for a while before folding, and uh, that could be too tight of a fold. I'm not sure. I feel like Andrew's going to fold. But I don't know what the right option is here. This is a really tough spot because you're not even against one person. You're against two people. So. Yep, and Andrew does fold. Wow. Folds the best hand. Really weird spot, especially with the SPR. The river's a four, and now Andrew folds, and Eli has the best hand because of it. And Andrew is going to be pretty devastated to see that. That would have been a huge pot for him to win. I mean, Andrew's sitting on over 8K if he scoops that pot. If Andrew calls that, I think that would have been one of the biggest pots he's ever won because it would have been about a $6,400 pot. It would have been 6500 yeah. 6500 yeah. Yeah, if he shoves there, if he finds a shove, such a weird, if he finds a shove and gets called, it's over 10K pot. Right. That's such a odd situation to be in. Definitely don't fault Andrew's play being up against two people. Yeah, I mean, I understand. He has no idea what they have. And it's just so But he, he does have a really strong hand. Uh, but he thinks that Eli has two pair there a lot it's, in the straddle. No. Eli's bet is kind of weird because it, it he's value betting a nine there. So that's really disheartening uh, because that would have been a big pot coming our way. There's not too many uh, hands that are raising for value on the flop that we can beat. Somehow he finds a worse nine to raise for value and uh, he's gonna get the job done. Uh, turns it into a bluff unknowingly and puts out, pushes out the best hand. So that's a bummer, but uh, just gonna get back in, back in there and try and shake it off. Should be plenty of action uh, to come yet. Yeah.